Alright, this is just a quick comparison version. Um, on a forum today, talking to a, a good old buddy of mine about different FM towns, like MOBOs and processors and what everything's equipped with. So I started taking some pics, and I figured as long as I got everything open, do a video so I can actually get better detail, because my camera kind of sucks. Uh, so looking at my old uh, FM Towns Model 2 H PC here, uh, as you see, it's in it is an Intel. 386 DX processor at 16 megahertz. I don't know how clear the text is going to be. Uh, but what's interesting here is that uh, on this version it's actually socketed. As you can see, my buddy's is actually, well, it has the uh, Towns 2 386 DX. His is a CX20, I believe. And what's interesting is his mobile was very, very different. Definitely, mine's an older model, and definitely they tried to reduce costs. And his, the processor, is actually soldered to the motherboard, unlike mine, which is in a socket. And the mobile has got quite a few differences as well. Though, oddly, on my model, the, uh, the ribbon cables for the CD-ROM are soldered and I think in his they're actually socketed which makes taking this thing a pain in the part of pain in the ass if you want to get to the CD-ROM drive still kinda neat and then just to compare it we have the Marty now the Marty was definitely a failure and I think probably because it's just very very weaker I mean as you can see the Marty is actually doesn't even actually uses an AMD 386SX, which the main difference, of course, but they're, they're both 16 megahertz. But as you'll notice, the DX is much larger because it has that uh, floating point unit built into it. Well, the Marty is just a pure 386SX and uh, much slower than yeah the 386 PC. Kind of shows just how cheap the Marty was, really. That, from my, from what I've been told, this chip was probably licensed from Intel, but manufactured by AMD. But still, the Marty doesn't even have a legitimate Intel processor in it. They actually used what was probably a cheaper AMD version. Of course, the good old Fresh, which is my main workhorse, uses a 486SX, and then I've got the 586 Overdrive processor installed in it as well, but getting to the mobile on that thing is kind of a pain in the ass, because, you know, it's a desktop, and there's a lot of extra shit in there. So, I'm not going to take that one apart. But I do just find it interesting, though, that, you know, the Marty was generally marketed and sold as having the ability to be the same as you know the PC line but I mean these systems are technically compatible with the same software but here we got the DX mod version and then here we've got the cheapo SX version in the Marty so uh, I mean the Marty sold pretty terribly back in the day Probably because everyone that actually wanted to get into FM Towns computers probably realized that the actual computer was a far better offer offering than the uh, the rather cheap old Marty. But yeah, and in case anyone's wondering, I don't have one handy, but the Marty 2 is pretty much exactly the same. Also a 386SX from AMD. Uh... The only differences in the Marty I've ever seen is a few models actually have a weird little extra little tiny subboard that covers this chip. But other than that, they're exactly the same. So yeah, um, once again I will say if you ever want to get into FM Towns Gaming, 
get a PC, preferably a 486 or better, but if you can't find one or you don't want to spend the money, at least get a 386. I suppose if you're really um, hardcore, you could probably upgrade this one, as it does have a socketed processor. You would need to change the crystal, but not a whole lot of work. But, my opinion, never buy a Marty. It's a piece of shit. Might be interesting for a collector, but as far as running games on, it's a slow piece of shit. That's all.